Um, I was calling because Tasha, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm trying, I'm gonna give it to you real quick. My daughter, when she was 12 years old, okay, I had a job of 11 years. I have a son that's disabled. He's special needs, he has seizures and been through four brain surgeries. He started having seizures at four months of age. Um, okay, but he's 25 years old now. But okay, I went through that. His last brain surgery, my sister had passed the year before that. I lost my job a month before his last brain surgery of 11 years. I have four kids and all. I have my first son, my two daughters, and then my last son. So um, I lost housing. I lost everything. Everything. My family already wasn't helping me. So, but I was helping them more. Do you understand? I'm I'm the black sheep. Um. Okay, so what I did was I have a sister, older sister, that um, I asked her if she'll help me with they should, with, with my, I'm sorry, with my second daughter because she was having a little issues in school because their father never, never, never helped, so she was missing out on her father. So my sister is married and she, um, she stay in Texas, and this is a person I trust. She was like my my mama. I talked to her every day. Tasha, like it was like I talked to her mother, my mama. She kind of like really raised us. So she said she'll take Daisha in a couple of months because remind you not. Reggie had to have his, I mean, my son had to have his brain surgery, and I just had other two kids, and Daisha was acting out some because of her dad, and then I lost my job, lost housing, so we were going through a lot, so she decided, she said, she, yeah, she'll take her, she took her up there so she could finish the eighth grade, then when my baby was 12 years old, when my baby went up there around about September, um, and then I came and got my baby um, in, in, in the summertime. I met my sister to get my baby. But the whole time my baby was up there, my sister would always tell me, um, well, she, she's doing this, she's doing that, she's doing it. My sister's school teacher, her and her husband. Her, and her husband worked at his school, uh, at his charter school. And my daughter was in the same school with them while she was up there. And that, my, my, my daughter started doing stuff that was out of character for me when my daughter was at home with me. You get what I'm saying? But my mm -hmm. sister always said stuff about, oh, she was doing this, doing this, just a whole bunch of stuff, left school, just a whole bunch of stuff. When she would come home, um, she just blamed everything on my daughter. But, you know, it was kind of confusing to me because I know my daughter had some, you know, a little bit of behavior issues. But also I trusted my sister because my sister was like my mama, my not my mama was always out in the house working and had men that abused us. So that's a whole nother story. But, okay, so... Um, when I got my baby back, my baby, um, that summer, my baby, uh, started experiencing when she went to ninth grade, it was horrible, Tasha. I've been going through it ever since I got my baby back. Tasha, I just found out that my nephew was abusing my daughter last year on my, 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 up under my sister's roof. Yes. My nephew had a girlfriend, a full girlfriend. And guess how I found out, Tasha, last year or the year before, it was, I think the year before the year before going out, it was the year before or last, I found out because my sister called me and said, hey, I don't want to say his name. He having issues. He wanted to talk to you. Now I had just came up there and flew up there to see my sister for her birthday back in February. So around about September, whatever. So I was like, okay, I talked to him because we got anxiety issues and depression issues and stuff like that in our family. So I'm trying to help whoever. Wait a minute now. Uh -oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, that trauma dump. She done backed up a whole damn dump. Beep, beep, beep. Watch out. Get out the way, everybody. Get, beep, get. Beep, 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 beep. Get the F out the way. You don't. What was that? What just happened? That was not human. There's no way. Like, yeah, like she didn't take a breath. She just kept going and going and going. She sounded like she's from the deepest parts of the South, uh, forgotten by time and man. She just trauma dumping. And what she, what she kept saying, her one child was acting out. And the only reason why her child was acting up because the daddy wasn't around. We hear this woman talking. If we could see and smell all this, I guarantee you we all pass out. <laughs> this is bad. Y'all hear her? She's somewhere in the deepest parts of the South. She must be. She absolutely must be the way she's talking. It's very much given when she was sitting there talking, every existing cotton plantation world, the cotton just started swaying back and forth where she was talking. I'm trying to tell you something. That was wild.
That was ancient trauma. Ancient. <laughs> I'm dizzy again. <laughs> That yeah, then the words of my girl heathen queen. This is wild. What is Tasha K supposed to do? Ultimately, well, I guess that is this is Tasha K's deal. She's gonna give some advice. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> so, here we go. Tasha about to drop it on her. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. Yeah, here this and advice. Come on, video is. Yeah, she's some kind of single mom. She said her son had brain surgery. Her daughter was acting out. So she sent her daughter to live with her sister. And Who was a teacher. Her, when she got there, say what? Her daughter, Her she sent her with her sister. Her sister is a teacher and her sister's husband is a teacher. Yeah, so she sent her daughter. Yeah, sent her daughter with her sister. And long story short, her, some, you know, somebody was touching on her daughter. So she bought the keep dumping and we'll pick it back up here in a second. Oh boy. Her her sister's son was touching on her daughter is her accusation. Allegedly. The allegedly. I mean, so that's a whole nother story. But okay, so um when I got my baby back, my baby uh that summer, my baby uh she's doing this, she's doing that, she's doing it. My sister's school teacher, her and her husband. Her and her husband work at his school, uh, at his charter school. And my daughter was in the same school with them while she was up there. And that my, my, my daughter started doing stuff that was out of character for me when my daughter was at home with me. You get what I'm saying? But my mm -hmm. sister always said stuff about, oh, she was doing this, doing this, just a whole bunch of stuff, left school, just a whole bunch of stuff. When she would come home, um, she just blamed everything on my daughter. But, you know, it was kind of confusing to me because I know my daughter had some, you know, a little bit of behavior issues. But also I trusted my sister because my sister was like my mama, my genetic, my mama was always out in the house working and had men that abused us. So that's a whole nother story. But, okay, so... Um, when I got my baby back, my baby, um, that summer, my baby uh, started experiencing when she went to ninth grade. It was horrible, Tasha. I've been going through it ever since I got my baby back. Tasha, I just found out that my nephew was abusing my daughter last year, up uh, under my, 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 uh, my sister's roof. Yes, my nephew had a girlfriend, a full girlfriend. And guess how I found out, Tasha? Last year or the year before, it was, I think the year before the year before going out, it was the year before or last, I found out because my sister called me and said, hey, I don't want to say his name. He having issues. He wanted to talk to you. And I had just came up there and flew up there to see my sister for her birthday back in February. So around about September, whatever. So I was like, okay, I talked to him because we got anxiety issues and depression issues and stuff like that in our family. So I'm trying to help whoever kids out, which is, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I can, Tasha, not only mine. Right. So um, I called him. Hey, what's up? We talk, talk, talk. You know, at the end of the conversation, this man tell me he just really feel bad. He done manipulated everybody. Blah, blah, blah. I ain't know he was talking about me. Girl, this man, I told me, he your boy told me he molested my baby. My baby didn't even tell me. Now I see why my, my, my baby got home. She couldn't. She ain't like boys. She started dating this girl, which I didn't know. She. I went through a lot. Tasha, I'm still going through it. My, I, only, I ain't got my baby right now, Tasha. Let me tell you what my sister did. I told that boy, you got to call your mama right now, right? I got the phone with him and I called my baby and I told my baby, please come over here because my baby had done start dating an older man, it was all this stuff because, and I didn't know all this stuff I wanted because of this lady, my sister. N let me tell you something, Tasha. She a school teacher. She didn't report it. I ain't know what to do. This was shocking. This is somebody I talked to every day. Every day, my mom, she was like my mom and her, 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 her husband was these school teachers, right? She got two sons, right? They, they gave her drugs. They gave my baby wasn't doing nothing up under my so-called uh, perfect sister roof. Now I'm a single parent. Yeah, I had disabled child, been struggling, been doing everything I can to take care of my kids, Sasha. I've been doing everything I can to take care of my kids, Sasha. I'm the black sheep, right? Do you know that after I found out, I'm telling everybody. Now, I already want to talk to my family because when we, me and my kids went homeless, I ain't have my family. But when I had to get job and all this stuff right there. They was always around. I was giving them money and everything, but I ain't have books. Me and my kids literally went into, I had to put my disabled son in a place, and me and my kids literally went into a homeless shelter shelter 
have never been. That's a whole nother story, Tasha. So let me get back to this this sexual assault that he did to my baby. She was 12 up, up, up under my sister. My baby said, <coughs> Mama, every time I talk to you, she wouldn't let me talk to you. She was always come around. And I noticed that after my daughter told me when she got home, my sister wouldn't have barely, she would, wouldn't let me talk to my daughter as much as I wanted to while she was up there. You know what I'm saying? And they say she was weighing my baby food. My baby just a 12 year old little, little, little bitty baby weighing my baby food. But one weighing her son's food, her son was stealing from her, driving around with my baby in the car, giving her drugs and stuff. These are her two college sons, and she thinks she perfect, and they perfect. But did what they did to me, Tasha, my own sister, Tasha. And do you know when I found out, she, he got, she got home, and, she, and I called them and said, hey, did he tell you what he just told me? And they said, okay, we're going to call you back. You know I ain't talked to them since then. That's been two years ago. My whole family went to Walt Disney World with this girl and, her, her, and them folks. I ain't got no family because I cut all of them. I ain't even got my daughter, Tosh. My daughter hate me. But get what? I'm never going to stop. I, I went and took her to the sexual crimes victim view down here in Georgia. Took her down there. Did everything I supposed to do because Tosh, I ain't know what to do in no situation like this. I ain't never been through nothing like this. They took my baby. My baby out there now, Tosh, she here and I'm over there trafficking everything. I want my baby back. And I would do whatever. I'm going to go up there. So they go tell me up there in Texas. Because they have me in Texas, right? So they had to send all the stuff from Georgia up there in Texas. You know what I'm saying? I did get my baby down there to talk to them. That was when she was talking to me. Jeez, I can't. Wait a minute now. Uh -oh. So now she's sitting here trying to blame her sister for this outcome. We Y'all know how we feel about this type of stuff. There need to be atonement if this is all true. You can't throw your kids to the wolves and be blaming society. You supposed to protect your damn kids. Nobody gonna love your kids like you. Nobody gonna love the kids like the parents. Well, my sister was supposed to protect them. Miss Perfect. Miss Perfect. I'm the black sheep. You know, she perfect. She a school teacher. Husband a school teacher. She perfect. You know, I'm the black sheep. I'm the crack smoking black sheep. It's amazing how she go into details about all these wrong happenings that allegedly happened at her sister's house. Meanwhile, she said here she will graze over her kids going to homeless shelters. You the mama. Where are you in all of these instances where your kids going to homeless shelters? Where are you? I'm dealing Why? with trauma. I'm dealing with trauma. My kid got brain surgery. We dealing with trauma and drama. We was homeless. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Where what, like again, what role do you play in this despair? Like, come on. This is, you know what's crazy? Like, I me and X, I know we desensitized because listen to her. Yeah, then sink this stuff, man. The sink it. <laughs> Not laughing. Ain't nothing about that. Is a nothing about it funny. Just to see to desensitize to it, then seeing these things play out, then seeing these people in real life, then smelt their breath, then that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's just wild in the hood. These are this is what's going on. Where she at? She in Georgia. I told y'all she in the deep south with an F. Got to say south. All right, down there, forgetting, forgotten by time, technology, and man. Just deep down there, lost. Days and confused, don't know which way is up. And gonna call Tasha K. What Tasha K gonna do for that? I don't listen. I'm about to say, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the point where Tasha can't respond, but this lady won't stop. So we'll see what Tasha got. Uh -oh. but my baby's out there in the streets right now from because of these. She's out there, Tasha. My baby, I love my baby. I'm praying my baby come back home. I ain't even got my baby, but she got her son. She go tell me they okay. So around January, and this happened in October, November. They ain't called me or nothing. So around February, February, I said, "Hey, what, what's going? on? Hey, y'all ain't talking to me never, no more. I already ain't got nobody. Y'all ain't talking to me about this, and I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Because now my life is gone. I'm my." I'm, my mental health is gone, and I got other kids to take care. Plus, this is able baby to take care of my my baby gone, my life gone. I'm in the middle because my baby blaming me, and now my sister 
ain't even helping me through. I don't know what to do. I've never been to this. So I called the police. I did all that. Took a, you know her husband going to tell me when I was texting. I'm like, what y'all doing? Y'all ain't said, how we going to help? They said, he said, they taking his son. They took their son to church and to therapy. You didn't report it to your school. Nothing. You ain't, you ain't report. You ain't nothing. Because it's your child. You think your perfect child. And it's like me, Goliath, fighting with Natasha. It's like a big old hill that I got to fight because he going to pay for this. And then these people tell me after a whole year or something, I'm going to be trying to. These people tell me up in Texas, the prosecutor, oh, ma'am, Mr. Uh, ma'am, we can't um, prosecute him because the judge, because he was 16, 17. Tasha, he was a child. Tasha, that boy had a full grown. He had a, a girlfriend. He had a girlfriend. Why he needed my daughter? He had a whole girlfriend. Tasha, my baby didn't have no boy. She was a baby. She went as a baby, came back as so only they, no, how, my how baby. Old is your, how old is your daughter? My baby 19 now. I wish she could hear this. Because, oh, she hate me. And get what? They ain't going to prosecute her. Now he on Facebook now. I did delete some off my page because I'm trying to start my business, but because I ain't want to leave that on there because I just started him on his page, smiling like they ain't did nothing. I ain't still ain't talking to my sister since that day. It ain't been about three years. This is what I'm telling you. And I called up to a school because I got to get my baby because I'm trying to suit up. Tell I'm going there and put a billboard. I don't, I don't, don't care. I will watch. I told my kids up under my daughter, if I ever pass away, y'all don't never get this up. You make sure his kids, kids know what he did to your sister. Everybody is on her side. I don't even know what to do. My baby ain't with me. And her son is just. So, so, here we go. Whew. She said, This shall never end. She said, I told my kids, even when I'm gone, y'all tell the kids, tell generations. Let them know what they done. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is some family trauma here, people. My <laughs> goodness. This, this is this, this drug addict woman. I'm just trying to be fair, fair and clear. This drug addict woman. That's a crack smoking woman. I know her very well. She up here. Y'all, y'all calling, y'all know her to you. She coming up off that crack bench. Where she talking? She she might be high right now. Yeah, I don't think that ain't sober. That's high. Yeah, that yeah yeah. She on something. She on something. Anywho, <laughs> it's everybody's fault but her. She keeps saying her her sister and her sister's husband perfect. All the kid think they perfect, and her troubled daughter. Her her daughter's only trouble and acting like a rogue mercenary simply because the father ain't around. And that has nothing to do with this mom. If you keep hearing her, it's everyone's fault. It's the sister's fault. It's the husband's fault. It's the, the, the baby daddy didn't run. It's his fault. Everybody's fault. The police fault. It's the church fault. But her, she just want her baby back. Shout out to Debraka. So there you go. Speaking of Debraka, all right, y'all want to talk her up. We're going to bring Dom in because everybody, we're going to break the ice. I think they all need a healing. Just the whole family. All right, where you at, Don? Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Lord, if you're blessing, you're blessing in this season. Please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, she talking about my daughter out in the streets now. She 19. It's over, mama. Let that go. You fail. Everybody's failed. It's just over. So you so you don't you don't know where she is at all? I don't know where she at today. <laughs> I don't know what she had today. She was out for traffic one time. When's the last time you spoke to her? I talked to her like I want to say about three days ago. I've been trying to get her back, but every okay, time she okay, all right, calm down, calm down, calm down, breathe, breathe. She hate me. Calm down, breathe. 
Just take a please just take 10 deep breaths. Okay. I got, got you, Tasha. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get everything. No, you good. Out. I'm just I'm worried about you because you know how you know it's high blood pressure. No, so many is. things that can happen. So just take deep breaths because I want to talk to you for a second. Okay. And I I've heard your story. So I can't believe I'm actually able to get in and even talk. To no, you. you're good. You're good. You're good. So thank you. That was that thank you for being vulnerable. Thank you for having the courage to to call in and just that was a lot you unloaded. So I could tell that you've been holding this in. And you and you're you're kind of at your wits end because your child now is 19, but yet it's like you're you're trying to, you know, go back and fix a lot of things that are unfortunately broken i made a decision in the time where i had to, i had to i had to, i lost everything i made a decision I, and i thought i was sending her somewhere where well, she would be safe okay. all right so listen here's the thing you can't go back in time and fix what happened it happened it happened but you know what fortunately for you there's a lot of people out here that can't talk to their kids. You just talked to your baby three days ago. <laughs> now you say she hates you. Mm. Why does she hate you? I don't know, Tasha. I believe it because of that. Well, you have well, you have to. Here's the thing. As her mom, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot even before she was born. <clears throat> And now as her mom, you have to make her not hate you. I don't know how to do that. Tell you, do, with that. you do. You do. Now she's on her own. There's nothing you can do to make her do what you say do. But what you can do is just always make sure you open your home to her. Because I did because I can't cousin and then we'll be back homeless. She done no. busted out my window. Tasha, Listen, but why but why is she busting out your windows? Are because you are you arguing with her? Yeah, if she's bringing you, somebody, we was in the one bedroom. It was four of us in the one bedroom. She came in. She, she, she we moved in because I was homeless. Remember, I've been home like two years. I, I finally know, got us I in know, the one bedroom. She came in and she invited friends over, and we just one bedroom. And it wasn't right. I had to go to work the next morning, baby. It wasn't right for the whole household. Felt she just comes in and do whatever she want to do, and the other kids are watching her. Now I got problems, and then and stop. Now you act like a special victim. Is she not acting like her damn mama? Is she acting how you acted? Why do these people be so surprised when their children grow up and be the Super Saiyan version of them? Amazing. I'm trying to tell you, man. That's that's my thoughts exactly. I'm like, who is she imitating? Ain't no one else around. You pick the worstest of men, obviously, to mate with. And, and now here you are, homeless all the time. How you think she gonna she, she respect? She said they in the one bedroom. It's her one woman, her four kids, and their daughter bringing men over. More, she didn't want to say that, but obviously she bringing men over and clapping cheeks in the one bed. How? Gotta eat that. Yeah, listen here. Yes, my fathers are important. Shout out to Red Pill Ranger. I see he said that. Mm -hmm. This is why when you hear women say, "I don't need men," I can a single mother. I could do this on my own. That's bull crap. See that. So there you go. Why do women need men, especially when y'all decide to have children? Because you might wind up living in a one bedroom apartment with four of your kids and one of them bringing men over and you, and you got to hear your oldest getting her cheeks clapped by random dudes. Now what? That's why. Because y'all don't understand just how wild and wonky and foul it can get. But we're showing y'all. It's the trauma dump. And so we'll get back into it. I said, shout out to my guy, Red Pill Ranger. I see you in the chat. And y'all saying, what if that young man really did do it? As when Mr. Walker said, there's stuff obviously we can't say on YouTube, but mm -hmm. he, there need to be atonement. He needs to go look at the flowers. Y'all need to, you know, if y'all been around, y'all know where we stand. So Exactly. Yeah, we do not play that at all. But, but it's, it's obvious where that, but a lot of times it's lost. People don't talk about moms like this. We got to talk mm -hmm. about her. We know there what we, we would do to that guy. There we go. Now, at the same time, shout out to Rain and some of the sisters in the chat. You know, being fair in this instance, that's just the trouble. You know, she over-sexualized because she done dealt with trauma. 
who's to say she wasn't messing with them boys? And if they young kids, ain't no young boy going to. Ain't no education. Down. It's like you said, although they are family, right? That's mama's two sisters. You move in, they're cousins. But if they didn't grow up around each other, there's not that connection there. And people don't take time to sit down and explain this to children because they are children and you got to explain this stuff when they, even if they do grow up around each other, they can hang around each other all the time. You got to explain to them, y'all are family and how this stuff work. If you don't, they just going to start experimenting and doing ish. Yes. Yes. Thank God we dodged some bullets in the hood, but that was a that was a hood norm, man. Real rap. <laughs> I don't even want to get to it. But yeah, who's to say? That's what like, yeah, you a whole crackhead, and you sent your extremely troubled and traumatized daughter to go stay with your sister, and you guys gonna accuse all it. It's it's she's she's vindictive. She's like, they're perfect, they think they're perfect. Look what they did, and it's it's just a mess. Long story short, you the mama. You should have known what was going on. You should have been. It shouldn't be a thing. And she said, I I'm trying to figure out why my daughter don't like me. But have you ever sat there? Y'all got to understand that these, these kids can contrast their life versus their friend's life. And I don't like you because I end up in the gutter and in, my life is in turmoil. And there's kids that I grew up with and they in college. And their life ain't so bad. And their parents helped them out. But yet you, my mama, you some fiend out lady that sent me away in my life. Just that's why she hates you, woman. Yes, you are the mother. Moms on the lips of a child are gods. And you sent her away. And, and she didn't seen you in your worst. Most likely she only seen you in your worst state. You've been homeless. You got no, you got no. Here we go. It's so bad because. Here's oh, this is amazing. Even and, and then Mr. Walker, they, they would say, What about the men? So you know the detractors the out there. Well, y'all ain't saying nothing about the father. And but no, if y'all been around the channel long enough, this is where we tell the women how y'all got so much power to stop sleeping with these damn men. Y'all can't create these problems and then expect good men like us to come up with solutions. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> listen here. That's a lot to try to fix this. And through all this, the biggest issue why she came and try to claim some kind of structure with her daughter is because even yet homeless, crack, abuse of epic proportions, Order 66 is still in the room. She ain't going to her daughter being kind and, and humble and atoning, showing shame and remorse for actions. No, she most likely like, I'm your mama. You're going to do as I say. That's the hood. Regardless of what I do, I'm still your mama. That is verbatim a hood quote. No matter what I do, I'm still your mama. And you're going to do as I say. And that rogue little young woman like, hold my beer. <laughs> All right. Order 66 causes. It can't, it's, it can't be fixed because the mom, like, I'm still the dictator no matter how I have failed you. So here we go. I say, I'm go. We're going one more minute before we get out of here tonight. I just thought this was interesting. Something for us to talk about. A little change Ooh. of pace. Got to get serious sometimes over here, right? It all can't be yes, funny sir. games. So. Yes, sir. Don't forget, ultimately, our mission statement is do what's best for the kids. <laughs> So here we go. Oh, yeah. They have powerful niggardry at work here. Yeah. When she comes in, she's always doing something to make me But I almost got put out when she busted out my wonder because I just told her she can't have friends over because it's already little. It's every time. Last time she came in, I said, okay, I'm a, I just want to help her get in school, but it's like she wants to I got to have standards in my household because of the other kids trying to graduate. And I want to allow get it, her and I get house, it. And, but and, I don't know how to allow her my house without getting put out because of the stuff Alicia, and that's okay, Alicia. You're doing the right <laughs> thing. You scared. have to. Alicia, don't be scared. Why? Don't be scared. Because I want my baby around, but I know right now she's on She's on the time where she more so want to, I feel like want to hurt. She, she said she's gonna call defects on me for nothing. Like, she just wanted to see me injured. It, it, it ain't one time she called the police on me when I told her 
she can't do certain stuff. She, she's been trying to get me locked up with some some of the kids. It's just, it's weird. Touch up. I, I can show you text messages. Well, this girl just sent something to my Instagram saying that somebody else, she was acting like somebody else, saying, you bitch, you got your daughter out here selling push that. And I was at work, I was having a breakdown because I don't know who this is trolling me, so I had to get home and talk to my other daughter who know about social media. And she was telling me that she found out that it was Daisha that was sitting there saying, you stupid bitch, take care of disabled son. It's just... Okay, here's the thing. Alicia, Alicia, there's a... Listen, there's a lot of pain between both of y'all. And I know we holler out therapy, therapy, therapy all the time. All the time. You won't even believe You're not I even... Think. Listen, and you guys are not even remotely even ready for something like that. Here's the thing. What's done is done. And I, I hate to reiterate that. You cannot go back in time to fix it. It's not going to bring back her pain. It's not going to fix the path that she's on. Baby, the only good. thing, Alicia, listen, the only thing that's going to I was telling my daughter, my 60-year-old, this Tasha K on the phone. Oh Tasha K on the phone but talking to me about Dacia. Then my 16 year old, she graduated from Mays High School. She's a tuba player. She's about to do dual enrollment. And so my other kids are they they doing very well, Tasha, with whatever thing. She she's really I just told her you who you were, so she can't believe I'm literally talking to you. So I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, you're good. You're good. I don't want to <laughs> can't believe that. it. Yeah, that's who's on the phone right now to y'all talking to me. It's okay, it's okay. Tell her I said hi and you know to <laughs> You know, I'm glad that she's she's doing well. And that's that's really what I want to talk to you about is you got three other kids that you're you gotta be there for. And there's nothing you can do for your 19-year-old but just love her and don't judge her. You know that you have to protect your other three kids, so you can't let her live with you, but you can always be there if she needs you, which means she calls you regardless of what she's doing, who she's with. You be there for her. All right, she will class. eventually come back around. I'm going to do that. Definitely okay, do that. don't yell at her. Because when you yell at her, you don't want that last conversation between y'all. And she may go out and something happened to her and she don't come home. You don't want that on your heart. You do not want that on your heart. I don't want my baby back. Because you got to understand, she's not angry at you. She's angry at the world. Yeah. This happened to her when she was young. Yep. And the one person that she thought was supposed to protect her wasn't there. And so it's just something that you, you're you going to have to learn to deal with. Yep. You got three other kids that you got to be there for. And once they're out of the house, if you want to now rededicate yourself back to your old, because she'll be older at the time, and just... And just love on her. Just love her. There's nothing that's going to make you change you loving your daughter. Just love her. And once your kids get out and they grown and they off going to school and they can take care of themselves, try to get you some type of mental health, you know, therapy. Try to focus on you so that you can be well equipped because your daughter is going to need you one day. She needs you now. But you can't yell at her. You can't judge her. You can't fight her. You can't do nothing. This is all she knows. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you and listen. I thank you so much, Nia. You gotta forgive yourself. You really do. No, yeah, I'm working. I'm definitely working on that, Tasha. Because I'm. I know. I, I know the reasons why I did it. It just that you know. I. I just feel like I wish I would have been stronger, strong enough to keep my own baby. But once again, I can't keep going back. I just gotta go forward and just. I'm. A, I'm gonna reach out to her. But I do have to have. Um. I have to have boundaries and standards as an adult, you know, dealing with my daughter, you know what I'm saying? I know we different ages, so she's older, so I'm definitely trying to deal with her on the woman. I'm over this, sister. The net net of it, my take is we sit up here a lot of times and we shine the light on Bonquisha when she three for three, four for four. This is what it looked like when they ain't on the damn Kendra show. They come up on the Kendra show, they grandize themselves. They put on eyelashes and they they act. That's an act. They deserve um, awards, whatever, Oscars, for how they put on performances on the damn Kendra show. This is the other side. 
This is what life is like for the majority of these women who come up here capping. This ain't even, you know, my scenario late in the midnight hour, soggy pillow. No, this is 3 p.m. on a Wednesday type behavior, sitting in your living room. These, these individuals, anytime it gets too quiet, they got to start dealing with themselves. We, we know it was some sister that did an interview on some other podcast. She said, she said, I cry every day. She said, I just be sitting in my living room and I just start crying because there is no, there is no end in sight, no end to the madness, no end to the trauma. And this is why we sit up here and we poke fun at these women who decide to, to consciously become single mom, single mom by choice. And then all the daddy went there. Oh, look at my kid. We need a mom and a daddy. Everybody need a mama and a daddy. It don't, it don't work out well for the majority when that's not the case. And we, we, we witnessing it. We are seeing it in live and living color. That sister here, I know to some of y'all, that seems very extreme. But I'm trying to tell y'all, in a hood, in a projects near you, you can find three, four, five of her on one block. Stop. This is a this is a norm. So here we go. Like we said, we was up here the one night, and we were saying that, you know, to get any results, it's not with the mom on that screen, that woman. She's done. Her daughter, done. At best, you can try to reach the babies. I mean, they got to be small, small. I, I said the one day, the people that's worth reaching are still inside the belly. Mm-hmm. Like once they come out and they, it's over, it's too late. And they breathe in that nigga tree. It's really done. Yeah, that exposure. Age five. You got like, you got a kid. Here we go. Trying to use my common sense and and my college brain. Kids born into these scenarios, you got up to like age three to get them out of that. Because age four, because age four to seven, if they're in that environment, it's done. And let me show you. Let me show y'all. Y'all say what y'all talking about. Look. Hands on your knees. Make that breathe. Let that cuda cotta breathe. These the babies. These are the, it's over. It's over. The fix is in. What else y'all need to see? Ain't nothing else. For the people in the back, in case y'all missed it. Don't talk about it. Your mama black. Huh? Huh? Where your daddy at? Where your mama at? <laughs> That'd be the responses. Not y'all. All, right. all the detractors who say, why y'all up y'all up here bashing women? What are y'all doing? These the only way y'all go. This is the only way we're going to get any results is what y'all see us up here doing. This is This is the only disturbance in the damn matrix, I promise you. Got to be a pattern disrupt. Shout out to the Godfather. Yeah, we humans, we so daggone hard-headed. We would not change our ways without a pattern disrupt. And y'all not going, we're not going to disrupt any patterns coming for saying, oh, y'all right, y'all got it, y'all cool, everything going to be all right. Kumbaya, you know, you'll be all right. Keep, keep being ratchet and raunchy and just give it to the Lord once a week on Sunday morning. That ain't going to do it. But that's all right. Y'all keep being ratchet and we'll be right up here in y'all face. Rub it in y'all face like a duty pie. <laughs> mm-hmm. That part. Yeah! Boom,